What's up, Star Trek fans? Are you still out there? It's been a little bit of a depressing um, last couple of weeks with, you know, Star Trek Picard Season 3 ending. I really haven't been able to stay the course on what I want to cover next. I know that Strange New Worlds is coming out soon, so we'll have that to look forward to, I guess. It, it, you know what I mean? I am going to watch it and review it, so that's cool. Um, but real life has been a little crazy with, um, trying to work. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, I need to do a lot more, I guess. Uh, but yeah, a lot of real life, uh, work stuff has been insane. Um, yes. So I don't know. I need a third job basically is what I'm saying. So I need a third job. So I haven't been on here doing too much and it's been crazy. Um, but that being said, you know, I'm just gearing up waiting for strange new worlds to come out. But in the meantime, there are some pre-orders available, uh, and I put the links in the description box down below and pinned it to the comment section down below. The art of making Star Trek Picard, that should be somewhat interesting. I don't know how you guys purchase things on Amazon, but the link is down below and you guys will get my price from my Amazon link directly down below use the link down below and you'll get that and i'll get credit but um there is one the art of making picard uh hardcover that's coming out soon um obviously we've also a lot of you guys ordered the album i am pumped i am listening to it on spotify it's amazing it's got to be something you gotta own um but also coming out in september this is another pre-order hardcover whether you want the podcast the the audiobook the digital download whatever or you want the hardcover making it so patrick stewart that's coming out as well pre-order that now if you want to get that in time and whatever else uh, i suggest pre-ordering these things right now so you don't forget about them if you have the money um god knows i don't as <laughs> i've been talking about here but uh those are two new things that are out right now uh that you know you can check out if you want to you know get a little bit excited uh season three the vinyl is also uh available obviously you can just stream it if you want to just stream it uh play it if you want to just play it but uh you know i i would i really wanted to order that hardcover so hopefully that's you know something that 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 is available at some point uh soon because it just the presentation of it looks awesome it looks really wonderful and last but not least, um, you guys know about the Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I promoted that a couple of weeks back, and people seem to love that on Amazon, so I'll put that link down below as well. Beautiful Bluetooth speaker. has all the sound effects of the Enterprise D, and it's a, it's a really cool piece to put on your desk or at work or whatever, wherever you are. Listen to music, Bluetooth, whatever. So those are the things that I found on Amazon that I thought were pretty cool. Put the links to all of them, like I said, down below in this video in the comments section. But that being said, Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 is coming up. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand that Seasons 1 and 2 were filmed already. Like, back-to-back, -back, they were filmed. Season 3 of Strange New Worlds is in jeopardy with the writer's strike. So we know that that could be suffering problems. And we were hoping to see, you know, based on the feedback of Seasons 1 and 2, the writers and the creators would have an idea of sort of where to start swaying towards in the third season and the future seasons. But now it looks like that might be on hold and we may not get season three um, next year in the summertime. And that sucks because I like this show airing in the summertime. And so we're going to be screwed on that. And that's what happens when there's writer strikes and uh, whatever. I you know I don't know what to tell you anymore. You know, I, th there's a part of me that's like they need to get paid fairly in the right way. But then there's a part of me that's like these are all these woke idiots who pretty much ruin everything anyway. Uh, this is what, you know, now they're crying about wages. But then there's a part of me that knows that they're maybe unfairly paid. I don't know. But then again, I can't even afford anything, and I'd I'd rather be a writer myself right now. But uh, are they? how much are they getting paid? I mean, if you're getting paid $50,000, $60,000, $70,000 a year to write TV, it that doesn't make sense to me. You know I mean? I would think if you're writing TV, you're going to get paid over $100,000. But I don't know how much they get paid. But I know that a lot of collaboration and, and some of the writing process, they're not really compensated properly for. So I get that. But 
yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna end up suffering. These shows are gonna suffer. And season two, people are like, what's gonna happen? Are they? What did they do? It's the same thing. They they literally seasons one and two were filmed together. So all the writing was done. They were filmed together. So we're basically just seeing part two of season one. That's what we're getting. You know what I mean? There's not gonna be a major change to this season. It's just sort of like. It really is like that because Star Trek used to have 20 something episodes a season. So, you know, 10 episodes then another 10. I mean, this is really they were already filmed. These have already all been done. So, again, season 2 is really just like more of the same from season 1, I would assume. I I wouldn't assume that they would already have, you know, altered course into something slightly different or whatever. Um other than a few character changes. And I'm still mad that Hemmer's gone. I mean, that still just that drives me nuts. But uh, that being said, those are my quick little thoughts. Just to tell you I'm still alive here. Keep watching the channel. Also, do you have any other lasting comments and things that you guys noticed from Picard Season 3? I've watched it again. My mother hadn't seen it, so I watched the entire thing with my mother. and We've completed it. My mother ended up loving it. So that was really cool, man. My mom really loved it. She was, like, crying, and she was like, wow. this." She just thought it was amazing. So she was very happy to have seen it. And, um... And yeah, that's where I'm at. Where are you guys at? Leave it in the comments down below. And uh, that's it. I'll be back with some more videos soon. You know, we're going to have the Deep Space Nine reviews. I might start doing TNG episode reviews. And then, of course, hopefully we'll be reviewing uh, every episode of Season 2 of Strange New Worlds. And as we wait on the announcement of Star Trek Legacy, which you wouldn't imagine would ever be an announcement because right now there's a writer's strike. So what's there to announce? So we're pretty much, oh, us, uh, you know, we're pretty much screwed. Seven of nine blocked me on Twitter. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been an interesting couple of uh, uh, weeks, you know. Um, and that's it. I don't know what else to say <laughs> after that. I hope you guys are all well and everybody here is good. And um, leave me some comments and I'm just checking in. I'll have some more. I'll be back to it uh, this week. Just took a little break. Star Trek Late Night. There's some other videos popping up now that you might have missed, by the way.